This video is presented to you by at American Country 716. Come along for the journey we had here at this awesome place. Welcome to part two of the um, air thing. Museum? Yep. Air Force Museum, I think he's trying to tell us. Yep. It's part two. If you're watching this one, go check out part one before. Yeah. Definitely start on part one. This place is amazing. We're in uh, Dayton, Ohio today. Um, yesterday we went to a uh, Paul Bunyan forestry show and we come over here, it was two hours away and uh, we got here as soon as the doors opened. There's not many people in here, um, but it's a must see. What do we want me to show, son? That's cool. Okay. That's a Nighthawk. It must be some sort of stealth fighter of some sort. What's it say? Desert Storm. I can't remember when Desert Storm was happening. It seemed scary we were at war. But we made it through. At least I did. Didn't have to serve in the uh, any armed forces, but I sure do appreciate everybody that did. Um, if anybody can get a chance to come to this museum, I would highly recommend it. It is super awesome. This is uh, Building 3. Uh, we started in building four. Um, we there started it is. in building one, but then we walked through them all. And we started we... in the back, work our way towards the exit. Um, really incredible place. They said there was 19 acres of roof here. And I believe it, because this iron is big and it is all under roof. Although there's some outside. You start uh, the part one, you'll see the aircraft that are outside. Those are major, gigantic aircraft. And they're, they're impressive. Just yeah. to see the ones outside were impressive. Okay, looks like uh, he'd shoot us. Yeah. You see little guys up there in the car. Sad, the guy's all injured. You're gonna fire her up. I didn't. I didn't realize that that was a uh, an aircraft. The the um, propellers turn. Osprey. That's what they're called. They're pretty cool. They can vertically lift off, and then uh, proceed the way they're supposed to. Pretty awesome. How did we miss that? Yeah. That's a big girl. Well, we've seen that from the other side. Should start walking to the, to the Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. If you have not seen the first video, we purchased tickets to go on a 360 simulator, simulator thing. So, uh, young buck's in a hurry to get to the simulator. Yeah. And, um, he may or may not be able to take cameras in there. Yeah, we don't know. Um, supposedly he's going to take me upside down. I don't know, I got a long drive. I hope he don't get me sick on a simulator. <laughs> That's the last thing I need. That stealth fighter is so cool. Yeah. If you've seen it in the last video, we were flying a plane. Or a fake plane. <laughs> we crashed our plane. Multiple times. 
you look off the wing. You can't see. There's so much to see here. It's definitely something you should come see if you're in the area. For sure. This is a hallway connecting one building to the next. I got it set up pretty cool. There's a dog. Young Buck wanted a dog so bad the other day, he was so grumpy. Weren't you? Yeah. I want a dog. I want a dog. Give me a dog. No dog. Sorry. That looks cool, the nose on that aircraft. There's our simulator over there. Looks like it's rolling all around. But you didn't jump in front of them, did you? You didn't get in front of them, did you? Every, yeah, I'm like, so you're telling me everybody, every company's rolled over in their account department? They don't know what they're doing here? No, I don't think that's what's going on. Yeah, we're going to go up Pick everything up because we're going to go upside down and lose everything out of our pockets, I tell you. Well, that's what we just got out of, and, uh, well, my piloting skills aren't that good. But uh, young Buck, he got seven kills. We were shooting airplanes down that's what we were, seeing. What we were seeing inside you there guys are done right, we do need you all to exit that we gotta go thanks a lot Stop, I was a good pilot. Boy, I was upside down more than I was right side up, felt like. I was a good gunner at least, kind of. Yeah, I don't know, I couldn't get the plane to turn. At one point we were just sitting there spinning. That feels good. Big, Big ass. ass fan. Yeah. Lou really would like her pictures taken near them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These crocs are starting to wear on my feet. <clears throat> so here's some more. Man, they're everywhere. Look at all those little guns they got in that thing. It's cool. There's all the little missiles in that one. Missiles were. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More missiles there. They got these things looking really good, that's for sure. Like I said uh, earlier, I want to thank everybody that served this great nation and uh, all the men and women that lost their lives to make it make this country what, what we have is is uh and sad they all lost their lives but i appreciate each and every one of them look at that thing pretty wild i wonder what that little uh pop out is on top of that aircraft I don't know, I would think it'd be for surveillance or something. I'm sure it'll tell us when we get over there. It's crazy how many are here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a 
whale tail on there. A what? A whale tail? I don't know. A fin? What's it say? A radar. That's for radar. That's what that's all about. Figured it was for surveillance. Yeah. My good buddy Skip, he was in Vietnam. Uh, there's a book out that he uh, he had published. It's called Drafted and Served. Uh, Ed Swain is his name. Uh, if anybody is interested in that kind of stuff, it'd be great if he went out and bought his book. I believe it's on uh, Amazon. I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out. But... Uh, yeah, I'll link it in the description when I find out for sure. I know it's called Drafted and Served. About a local uh, kid that one day got a letter saying it's time to go. He's a good dude. Thanks, Skip, for your service. We got some bombs on that one. Holy smokes. This must be a bomber. There's just too much to see here. That's all I can tell you. I would like to thank all the men and women that serve this great nation uh, to protect our freedoms. Um, this museum is awesome. We had a great time. Anybody that is able to go check out this place in person should. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, and drop me a comment if you have any. Um, wisdom that we didn't have uh, maybe you flew some of these machines drop me a comment that would be awesome well have a good one it was an awesome time thanks for coming along with us on this journey this is American Country 716 signing out